Welcome back. Again, this is Frank DeMora with the Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. And if you just happen to find my YouTube channel by accident, I'd invite you to go to my prophecy website, BibleProphecyMan.com. And when you're there, you'll be able to download my book for free. And we're dealing right now with the Road to Revelation, Chapter 6, Verse 6. And this is going to be part three. And I've been showing you the news articles showing you how the price of food around the world is going up, leading to the uh, fulfillment of this Revelation chapter 6, verse 6. Now, we started off earlier in the year, and we're going to be moving uh, to now, as you can see, to June 2011. And by the end of my videos, we'll be all the way to November, the current news. But in this news, we see rising food prices push 10 million more Indians below the poverty line. So let's see what this article has to say. For a country that has been reeling under the impact of higher food prices, here are some chilling numbers. They really hit hard. Food prices single-handedly seem to have considerable power to reverse our process as an economy. The price rise in food staples between June and December 10th could have pushed as many as 10 million more Indians in the poverty. In its recent report estimating that the short-run poverty impacts of 2010 through 2011 surge in food prices, exactly what I've been warning about, pointing to what Jesus said in Revelation 6.6. The world of of the uh, the World Bank estimates that the price increases in the second half of 2010 have increased the poverty head count in India by 0.8 percent points. We infer that the increase in the number of poor from the data measure on total population 1.19 billion and the poverty rate used for their analysts 43.8 percent. Typically, given the poor households spend a majority of their income on food, rising food prices hit them the hardest. Now, the World, the World Bank looks at the impact of rising food prices across the developing countries and provides a commodity-wise impact on poverty. So, for India, an increase in prices of oils and fats has led to an almost 0.5 percentage point, an increase in poverty alone. As global prices of various, various oils soar between 30 and 65% uh, in the second half of 2010. Now, sugar, rice, and here we go, wheat. Remember Revelation 6.6, 6, the Lord told us, a quart of wheat, well, you're going to see a lot of news about the wheat prices going up. Increases have also resulted in the rise in the poverty headcount in India. And this is despite the fact that the price hikes in, in the India nowhere near global levels. However, rising import prices of food will compound the inflation situation further. The prices of sugar, rice, and wheat globally have increased between 20 to 75 percent but in India price increases for all these three are a sub uh, minus 10 percent levels this is an alarming wake-up call for the country uh, a country that has not seen an a abatement in, in food prices in increase even now food inflation jumped to two month high, 9% in terms of the annual growth recently. Of course, in India, the question of what is subs uh, the uh, subsistence amount required per day has been a subject of debate. And in this report, the World Bank uses U.S. $1.25 uh, per day or between RS 55 to 60 as the poverty line. But that does not take away from the gravity of the issue at hand. The Mahatma Gandhi Rural Environment Guarantee Act, the country's biggest anti-poverty scheme, 
uh, it gives an, a minimum wage of ours 100 for 100 days of work to those who want it. So the World Bank definition of part, the poverty line is not out of whack. Seems like anti-poverty schemes also increase the levels of poverty when they push prices up. Now the key number to look for is how much they reduce poverty and how much they increase it through the, the wage uh, price inflation. So here's the bottom line. Prices in South Africa are uh, not only uh, South Africa, but now that you can see in India are going sky high and there's no as you're going to see shortly there is no end in sight for the uh, falling food prices we see the food prices were are going to continue to climb so knowing that let's go now uh, into my next report and this one is Africa because I was just referring to Africa and notice that this report is in August of 2011 it says Africa famine soaring food prices intensifying crisis report warns a, vol a volatile, volatile global food supply supply is deepening the humanitarian catastrophe in the Horn of Africa the World Bank warns in a report, in a new report. Shortages in near historic prices for staples such as corn, wheat, keep it in mind, Revelation 6 6, and sugar have magnified the impact of the drought now ravaging the Horn of Africa, the Food Price Watch report said. Now, I've been warning you that there are many circumstances that are going to be driving the food prices up. We see this in the book of Revelation. Uh, and drought is one of those major signs that the Lord told us to watch for. And again, these prophecies are all linked together. While the emergency in the Horn of Africa was triggered by prolonged droughts, especially in the areas struggling with conflict, and internal displace, displacement such as Somalia, food prices are at the near record high. Again, now we're moving each month that we go, we see news talking about these record high food prices. So here we go, near the record high levels seen in 2008 also con contributed to the situation, the bank said in the statement. More than 12 million people are in urgent need of humanitarian assistance in the Horn of Africa, the report said. In some areas of Somalia, more than 40% of the children under five are suffering from acute malnutrition. Now, what we're seeing here is only a glimpse of what's going to happen during the tribulation. So, if you love your children and you don't want to see your children suffer, uh, please receive Jesus as your Savior now so that your family would be uh, spared and the Lord would protect not only you but protect those in your household, protect those children in your household. Now, the report also warned that production of biofuels, especially America's production of corn ethanol, was contributing to the rising in food prices. In global terms, food prices last month were on an average 33% higher than a year ago, the report warned. Corn or maize has risen 84%, sugar 62%, and look at the wheat, 55%. Now, but the price rises were particularly severe in Africa. Corn prices doubled in Kampala, Mogadishu, and, and uh, Kanagai. Over the last year, the report said, the sorghum prices have increased more than fourfold, 240% over the last year in, in the parts of Somalia, the report said. It blamed the soaring prices on poor uh, local harvests as well as the shrinking global food uh, stocks. So 
there's many, many problems in the world, but the prices of the rising of the food are going to create havoc around the world for even the developing countries. It goes on to say in this article, eight organizations have also connected rising food prices to the use of, of food crops for energy. Some prices have fallen back slightly since last February, but the bank warned the volatility still left the most vulnerable populations in the Horn of Africa dangerously exposed. Persistently high food prices and low food stocks indicate that we're still in a danger zone. And that is definitely the case. So you can see just in this picture the dry, arid land and what the uh, lack of food is doing to people in not only Africa, but as you already saw, in places like Asia and around the world. So let's continue on to see another article now. This one is from the Business Insider, and it says this. Let's scroll it down so you can see it. It says, a huge drought is pushing food prices even higher. Again, I told you that these prophecies were combined together. Famines, droughts uh, are all connected. A drought affecting one-third of the lower 48 states has hurt several key food crops driving up the food prices this year, assuring widespread food inflation well into 2012. In other words, food prices will continue to go up. Remember the birth pangs that Jesus warned about. And according to the National Climate Data Service, the drought has caused more than $10 billion in losses to agriculture and cattle, a number in experts to keep rising uh, as the drought continues because they don't foresee the drought stopping anytime soon. Now, meteorologists blame the drought on the La Nina weather pattern expected last uh, uh, to last at least through the winter. And I'm going to cover this La Nina in my next video. But it says the crops most affected include corn and peanuts. In addition, the lack of rain dried cattle grazing pastures to dust which has translated to higher beef prices. So again, all the weather is affecting just about everything that we're eating. Yes, we are going to see higher food prices this Thanksgiving. Purdue University agriculture economist Corning Alexander who told the Atlantic. Now the American Farm Bureau estimates that Thanksgiving meal for 10 will cost 13% more than it did last year. The U.S. economy already has inflationary pressures as a result of the stimulation policies of the U.S. Federal Reserve, pumping it with hundreds of billions of dollars. Ultra-low interest rates and excess money supply growth are what's been dri driving inflation, said Money Morning uh, Global Investor Strategic Martin Hutchinson. They rise they rise commodity prices, which over the time feeds inflation in general. Now the drought is pushing food inflation higher than overall inflation. And so we know that the prices are going up mostly dramatically in the category of food most affected by the drought. Beef is up 10.1 percent for, for instance. With pastures drying up over the summer, many, fought, many ranchers were forced to sell off the cattle before they could reproduce. While that beef increased the supply of beef, the current uh, shortage of cattle the U.S. herd was at the 38-year low this summer is impacting prices. So as you can see from this article about the United States, as we see in Africa how the drought is affecting them, we see in America how, they have, how it's affecting the crops and the food prices in America. So we're going to continue on to my next video, video 4, to give you more news connecting Revelation 6-6 to what has happened uh, currently.